Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here, and I'm sure by now most of you have seen my video on like the best budget GPU for mining Ravencoin. And you know, like, I got to thinking, if I talk the talk, I better walk the walk. Which is why I went out and got these. So this is four RTX 3060s. And in today's video, we're gonna be building those into a Ravencoin mining rig. So stick around for that. But you know, the first thing you need when building a mining rig is a frame to put it all in. And for this rig, I actually put together a custom rig myself. So as you know, I build all of my rigs myself. I have a PDF guide for how I build those, you know, like, like this one I have right here. Link to that PDF is in the description. But for this one, since it's only gonna be a four GPU rig, uh, I actually put together sort of a custom design for this and I'm gonna put up a time-lapse of how I built that as I talk to you about something really cool and that is my good friend in the mining space TechChinji. He is a fellow YouTube uh, mining creator and he's also one of the founders of the Misfit Mining Discord channel which you know I'm very active in. And he is, as of filming this, extremely close to hitting 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I was hoping y'all could head on over to his channel. It's really good. He puts in a lot of effort into his videos. And please show him some love. Maybe subscribe, you know, watch a couple videos. And I also want to show you one more really cool thing, which is these stickers that he has just put up and started making. So that has the cool Tech Chinji logo and I don't know how well this shows up on camera but these are like holographic. You know, like if, if you've ever seen like uh, one of those holographic Pokemon cards, it has that like sort of shiny, almost like brushed metal finish to it. They're really cool. He sent me a couple and they look really, really nice. So I just wanted to show them off to you uh, because he is a good friend and has been very helpful you know in my mining journey and I want to you know pass on that favor and say please do go check out his channel and show him some love from me so thank you for that and now I guess it's time to build a mining rig all right so I got most of the components that we're gonna use for this rig lined up here we got a just sort of kind of standard gigabyte motherboard here uh, it doesn't need to be a very special mining specific motherboard since it's only gonna like, have you know four GPUs on it Got the 1200 watt Zaman power supply here. Again, 1200 watts, a little bit overkill for, you know, just four 3060s. Could probably have gotten away with just a 1000 watts power supply, but had this on hand, you know, they're not too expensive, so might as well use it. Got our risers, CPU fan, fan controller for the fans. Obviously, we have the mining rig frame that you saw me build there and I know what you're thinking what's with the where's the SSD where's the CPU where's the RAM well what we're gonna have to do is we're probably gonna have to yank that out of our test rig here so we're just gonna take the CPU RAM and the like M.2 SSD out of this one and use in this new rig here because to be honest we kind of don't really need that test rig anymore so that is what we'll do and i guess now what's next is just to unbox all of these parts and start putting them all together all right so we got all of the parts here on the table and i guess next thing to do now is just to sort of take this old test bench apart Thank you for your service, little test bench. You've been good, you've been good. But now we're gonna butcher you. So I'm hoping we'll be able to use the processor, RAM, and this M.2 SSD from this, in this rig. Fingers crossed. All right, so we managed to salvage the CPU off of the old pre-build like Dell computer and we got the RAM and the M.2 SSD off of it as well. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pop the CPU in the new motherboard here. So just open hatch up, line the little arrow up with the arrow on here. 
like so and then you just close it and the little plastic cover jumps out on its own there you go and you definitely want to save this because if you ever need to like RMA your motherboard they won't take it back unless it comes with this on so definitely save this now I guess let's pop the RAM in real quick my plan is that we're gonna use put the CPU RAM and the CPU cooler plug power in and then just boot it up to see that it posts and to see that you know everything all the components work together properly which is something you should definitely research beforehand but didn't uh, I didn't do that do as I do as I say not as I do right so let me just pop the RAM in and then let's see if it boots So when plugging in a CPU fan, I always check where like the cable goes and I just try to put it in like as snugly as possible. You don't want to be in a way where that doesn't reach, but you kind of also don't want to be like this where you have all of this extra cable. That's just my opinion. So when putting on a CPU cooler like this, I just gently place it on top like that. And then on a diagonal, I push the pins down like this. So those two and those two. And then plug the little CPU fan connector in. All right, this is looking good. Let's plug the power supply in and see if it will boot. All right, so if we just have a look here, we've plugged the 24 pin motherboard cable in. We've plugged the eight pin CPU cable in as well as our power button. So we have the CPU installed, we have the SSD installed, no sort of like storage media yet. We just want to boot it now to see that we post and to make sure that we can get into the BIOS okay. So I'm just going to switch on the power supply and I'm going to click the power button and fingers crossed we'll get into some sort of uh, BIOS. Alright, it's starting up so that's a good sign. Ooh. Look at that. Aha, and we're in our BIOS. Fantastic. Also, I didn't know this, but this <laughs> this motherboard actually has a little bit of like cool lighting on it here. That's cool. All right, so we got the little M.2 SSD plugged in there as well as our Windows sort of installer boot USB key. So what I'm gonna do is turn the computer on now and then immediately I'll start hitting F12 to get into the boot menu because I want it to boot through the Windows installer USB obviously and not try to boot from the SSD. So let me just turn the power supply on. And then I got my assistant who will click the power button in three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> he was prepared before I was. Yeah, too quick for you. Aha, uh -huh. so here we go. All right, so it looks like we have Windows on the SSD up top. Uh, and then we have our boot manager, or sorry, and then we have the Windows installer here on the SanDisk. USB key. So let's just select this and see how we get on. All right, and here we are, Windows installing screen, I guess, whatever you call this. And I'm not going to show in this video how to properly install and set up Windows. I actually have a video on that on my channel already, so you can go check that out if that's something you want to learn about. And now I guess we'll just cut to when Windows is properly installed. All right, so we got Windows up and running. It is currently installing the latest Windows updates. And then what we will do is once that's done, we're gonna just take all of this and properly install it in the mining rig frame over there. And then I guess we'll just start plugging GPUs in. All right, that is that. Now let's put all of this into this frame here. All right, so I got it all neatly laid out and hooked up in here. 
I've got the fans, like the case fans, plugged into the power supply as well. So I guess now all there is to do is just turn this on, and check that it works. Hey, and look at those fans spin up right away. That's nice. That is nice. And we're posting again, so that's good. I'm just gonna, oh, well, okay, we're in Windows already. I was gonna say I'm gonna check that we get into Windows, but there, there we go. So now I guess it's just a matter of starting adding these GPUs in. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'll add one in at a time, check that that one works, add another one, check that that works, and so on. So yeah, that's what we'll do next. All right, so first 3060 is plugged in. So I guess let's just start it up, see what happens. Ah, it works better if you turn the power supply on too. Oh, GPU is spinning. Riser is lighting up. Okay, so good so far. All right, card is in and it is showing up fine here in device manager so i guess let's just add more cards in shall we all right second gpu is in so let's turn it on see how we get on all right spinning Riser's lighting up do we post something on the screen oh yeah and we got both of them showing up in our device manager so let's add another one. All right, third card is plugged in. So let's power it on, see if it works. Fan spinning, risers lighting up. And we're posting. So, so far so good. Let's see if it shows up in our device manager. All right, and here we are, three 3060s all showing up in the device manager so let's add the fourth one shall we all right we got all four gpus plugged in now so let's turn it on Oof, look at that nice yeah riser's lighting up too so seems to be all good so far do we get something on the screen Oh yeah. And check this out guys, 43060s all hooked up, no problem. Looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get these cards up and hashing some Ravencoin. So I'll be back in a second with that. All right, so I gave the card some overclocks and we are running steady at around 97 mega hash. Pretty good, pretty good. And on the wall. So this meter is for two rigs and I know one of them pulls a thousand. So that means this new rig is pulling around 670 watts. So not, not too bad. 670 watts, almost 100 mega hash on Raven. Cool. So now the plan is to just let that rig rip some Raven. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, just see see what happens with that. I guess over the next you know week or so, I will I might have to like tweak the overclocks a little bit. But all in all, I'm I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it one of these. I'd really appreciate it. And what you gotta do now is click one of those videos on the screen because this video is over. You can also click the picture of my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video, and I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye-bye.